Hi, my name is Les Hall, and I'm here to tell you about this thing. This is an invention that I created, and I want to give it to the world. We're going to, I'll show it to you later, and we'll talk about the details about it. The purpose of it is to help blind people to be able to perceive images with their fingers. And uh, it works thermally. So, uh, let's see, where do I begin? It, it was March of last year, 2012, when I first came up with the idea and wrote it down. I was in a nursing home, but I ordered some parts. All the parts come from sparkfun.com, which it says, you probably can't see it, it's, it's written on the back, a company called sparkfun.com. Every single part in here came from there. And it costs about 50 bucks to put together, maybe 35 something like that. And it's incredibly simple. It doesn't even have any chips. Uh, no complicated electronics. Um, it works like Braille. Only you feel heat under your finger instead of a bump under your finger. And you feel coolness on uh, uh, light places. And no, no, dark places are cool and light places are hot. So, okay, now let me, let me show you what's on it. All right, it's got a clear case, a clear enclosure. That's the Spark Fun Project case. And the most important thing is this sensor array here. Let me, how do I do this? There we go. We have a 5x5 five five array. Let me, let me get it stabilized. A 5x5 five five array of cadmium sulfide cells. They are all connected very simply to a battery with a switch interrupting the flow from the battery. That is the entire circuit. That's all it takes. So it's very easy to make. Now these cells are about a dollar each. So if you want to go big with it, get a big lot of resolution uh, image, it'll cost you a dollar a pixel if you do it this way. But I can see the manufacturers who make the cadmium sulfide cells printing up sheets of these things, much like an LCD display, and uh, getting pretty good pixel resolution on it because the cadmium sulfide cell is very simple. Let's take another look at it. Let's look at one really close. It's got uh, a silver terminal on the top, some zigzaggy cadmium sulfide on the bottom, uh, in the middle, the brown stuff, and a silver terminal on the bottom. And, and the leads run down the back. You can make a sheet of that stuff and print the, the, the silver stuff on it in such a way that it makes a, high, a pretty good resolution uh, array of any size. It's not rocket science. And what I've done with this simple circuit is I put a switch on it. This red thing is I had to make it cool, so I put a, I put a, a, a rocket switch on it. <laughs> and uh, you, th you throw the switch, and juice flows. Juice is flowing through these right now, and they're not really warming up because I'm in a dark room, it's evening time, there's a little light to my side, and um, this thing works in sunlight. It can be designed to work in any lighting condition, but the way I made this particular demonstration prototype, it worked out that it requires, and you just snap that closed, to, and it closes the switch, uh, and uh, uh, it requires uh, bright sunlight to operate this particular prototype. Um, these cadmium sulfide cells are adjustable 
such that uh, you can buy them in different resistance ranges. Basically, they're a light to heat converter. When you wire them up to a battery, they become a light to heat converter. So, I'll talk about that in just a minute, because that's bigger. That's neat. Uh, so there's, there's the blind concept. It's a demonstration prototype of this idea. Uh, basically, there's a little green circuit board here for mounting these parts in. I've cut out a hole in the plastic enclosure. And these are little mounting nuts and bolts in these five positions. You can see the wires in the case. And there's the batteries. Now, those of you who, uh, those of us who have some electronics knowledge will realize we could make a current source, we could make a voltage source, we could make the voltages adjustable so that you could adjust the lighting conditions, we could make it sense the ambient lighting condition and auto adjust so that it works anywhere you take it, you just pull it out and it works. Uh, we can also make this, once we have it in a panel, um, we can make it, oh, oh, well, let me see. Once we have it in the panel, we can put a lens on it, like a Fresnel lens, like in an overhead projector, and uh, point it, like pointing your iPad around and you see the image, like that. You, you hold it steady, set it down, point it, and then the, for 30 seconds, and then the blind person can pick, a visually impaired person can pick it up and feel the image for a little while until it cools off. Um, so it can work as a projector or it can work by placing the, a, an image on the sensor array. Now I have experimented with a few cardboard cutouts of thin cardboard that blocks light completely and for example one thing I did was I put cardboard covering each of the four uh, cells in each of the four corners and the plus that's left in the middle I exposed and then I, I made a little cardboard cutout, I don't know where I put them, they're lost and I made a cardboard cutout that fits on it line little cut corner nicks that line up with these screws and I you know would hold this thing up like this operate the switch after 30 seconds close the switch and you feel a plus sign it's hot it's actually you know it's not just the heat from the sun what the heat from the sun does is lower the resistance which makes the the on an individual basis each each cadmium sulfide cell sucks more juice out of the batteries and heats itself up okay we're getting near the end of the video uh, the, the broader implication of this invention is that we have a light to heat converter that can be made in high resolution panels and things we can use it to treat skin cancer right now they use uh, bags of heated water and it's very hot water and it hurts, hurts you and wouldn't it be great if you used a little little flexible panel that fits on the skin cancer on your arm and shine light on it and it traces out the exact outline of the skin cancer so we only kill exactly where we want to kill? Um, printing. Printing is an application. There's various chemical stuff that I don't have any knowledge of, but I know that you heat it up and it makes it adhere to the paper. Take the ray, print, print, print. Probably has some advantages. Circuit board making. Um, how about if you made a little cylinder one? You could put a marshmallow in it and, and point it at somebody and capture their image on the marshmallow. <laughs> There's a lot of things you could do with this. So, uh, uh, burn a, make a little cooker that... Uh, Burns a, a picture in your steak on the grill. <laughs>
Okay, I'm getting a little silly, but you see that a light to heat converter is really very interesting. All right, I'm getting to the close of the video now. Uh, I'll tell you why I'm telling you this. Um, I am on disability. That means that the taxpayers pay my rent, my power, my internet, my grocery bill. I live completely off of a very healthy disability because I used to make the bucks and I paid into the system. And I got, you know, I've got something wrong here and something wrong here. And uh, <laughs> a lot of people would agree I got something wrong here. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I owe the taxpayers because they pay my salary. And I'm a creative guy. And I make up stuff like this. I've got other ones. I've got a lot of them. And I, I, I dabble in them, you know, I make little prototypes that work, like this gizmo. It's got little rubber foodies on it, too, see? And, um, and then they go nowhere. I don't have the money to patent it, or even, no, I don't want to mess with the legal system. And, uh, I'm not a business person. I can't run a business. I just create, wildly create. So what better way to pay back the taxpayers than to take something like this and tell them about it? You now have all the information you need to start a business, make products, go to a large company, make the thermal braille concept work. And a lot of blind people will be able to see with their fingers. Praise the Lord.